Celebrating God's Grace, a Women World Leaders podcast. I am your host, Lauren Dean. Thank you so much for joining us today as we celebrate God's grace in our lives, in this ministry, and the world. At Women World Leaders, we have so many women who come together to produce and distribute a free bi monthly magazine filled with the gospel, scripture, testimonies, and encouragement. The printed version has been distributed across the United States and in Australia, while the digital version is available internationally. And we have been celebrating this week that the printed version of the Voice of Truth magazine has made it to India. How incredible is that? I love how God works. He is so good. And each person involved along the way did what they were called to do, and God accomplished his purposes. Psalm 127 verse 1 through 2 says, Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. We do what we are called to do, in faith that the Lord will bless the work of our hands. Without him, everything we do is worthless. I've always dreamed of living on a farm, and I recently started gardening, and in the Bible we see many references to gardening terminology with seeds and sowing and harvest. So if there are any gardeners listening, I'm sure you can relate to this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5 through 7, it says, What after all is Apollos, and what is Paul? Only servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord has assigned to each his task. I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only God who makes things grow. And the Lord has assigned to each their task in bringing the Voice of Truth magazine to India, from the writers to the editors, administrators, graphic designers, to our encouragers, those who prayed, to our leader who stepped up in India and our leaders who started meeting in Australia, and those who financially contributed, and so many more and God made it all possible. If you read a few verses further, it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 18 through 23, Jesus explains the parable of the sower. Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word at once and receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. 
The condition of our hearts through faith in Jesus allows his word to produce fruit in our lives. Otherwise, with hard, shallow, or crowded hearts, the gospel doesn't penetrate our lives. Sin destroyed our relationship with God, but the good news is that God had a plan for redemption. We cannot save ourselves, but Jesus lived the perfect life with no sin that we could never live, and he took on the penalty and wrath that we deserved. Through the gospel, Jesus Christ's life, death on the cross, and resurrection, our broken relationship with God can be restored and our sins forgiven. If we return to God by repenting of our sins and believing in Jesus as our Savior, we are forgiven and reunited in relationship with God and granted the gift of eternal life in heaven with him. Galatians 6, 8 says, Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Are you sowing to please your flesh or to please the Spirit? God is calling you to himself and his kingdom to reap eternal life. And his kingdom is advancing. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 31 through 32, it says, He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. Once we come to faith in Christ, he calls us to become sowers and spread the seed of the word of God and the gospel to others, just like so many are doing through the Voice of Truth magazine. Psalm 90, 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, establish the work of our hands for us, yes, establish the work of our hands. Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Let's close our time together as I read Psalm 126, as we continue to celebrate all God is doing in advancing his kingdom. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. Thanks for listening to Women World Leaders Podcast. Join us each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we explore together God's extravagant love and your courageous purpose. Visit our website at www.womenworldleaders.com to submit a prayer request, register for an upcoming event, and support the ministry. From his heart to yours, we are Women World Leaders. All content is copyrighted by Women World Leaders and cannot be used without express.